Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, yeah. I'm Darby, yeah. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for polonium, which is an element that's isotopes are completely unstable, just like my emotions. Your isotopes have been out of whack for a while now. You said polonium. Well, they're so polonium, yeah. You know what? The P today stands for polonely. Ah, oh, polonely hearts club. Yeah. How are you, babes? Oh Speaking my gosh. of unstable. <laughs> 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You just proved my point. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm, everything's fine. No. We have been we have been missing from your computer screen slash your phone while you're on the toilet for a while. And thank you so much for your patience. Thank we you had a really patience. busy couple weeks. Aunt Brenda died, so she yeah. added to mine. So really, you can blame Brenda. And then my aunt Brenda didn't die, and that was really that was stressful. that was really that traumatic was for me yeah, because yeah. you know how in your family mm -hmm. she's the good she one. was the only one that's good, and Yours my family the she's one. the only one that's yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God's um, not real. But yeah, so we ha I was out of town for two weeks. We went back to Chicago. We went for the, what is it? We went for market days yes. with Circa Mom, which Circa Mom was, was a blast. She was so fun. Getting back was rough. It was, it was. So I don't know if y'all have heard of this airline, Spirit. It's basically like- Well, we don't want to, we don't want them to sue us for libel. So we should probably say it a di it's a different name. Oh, okay. Spearmint Airlines. Yeah, so Spearmint. Well, it's only, they can only sue us if we're not telling the truth. We're telling the truth. So Spirit, they named it that because when you buy a ticket, they take a little bit of your spirit. And, and you also it. need to drink many spirits to get through the experience. Oh, isn't that fun? Obviously, Spirit was not our first choice, but it was the cheapest. It was a time crunch thing. It was a time crunch thing because last minute, flight, expensive. We go to Chicago, we have a wonderful time. We Getting saw there was fine. Auntie actually. Chan, being reunited with Chan was, oh, that was so truly fun. a dream come we love true. Her. Love her. Titties. It was really nice to see Chan and spend time with her, and it did make me miss her like a hundred thousand yeah, times. Me that too. was. Now I get it. Okay. Now I get your comments when you're like, "I miss Chan." I'm like, "Really? No, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right." Yeah, it's hard to disagree. Also, okay, I know we never say this on this channel, but Los Angeles, Los Angeles, it's a dry. It's heat. a dry it's heat. A dry now, heat. what okay. you may not, uh, I, I complain about this every chance I get. So you may have heard me say that Chicago is very humid. It's and a wet heat. In August, it's even more humid. It's like 100% humidity. So and, you go and outside. Wait, if you don't know what that your means. Your entire body is wet. Completely drenched in sweat. Just, guess what we forgot because we sweaty. were so used you to it. You weren't sweaty. You walk outside, all of your sweat is out of your body. Well, but guess what we didn't realize because we were so used to it. Even when you're inside, everything's it's, wet. Yes. The first night we got in, we went down to the Walgreens on State Street. That great street. I just want to say, I got sesame sticks. I love a sesame stick. Okay, thank you, Michael. And open the sesame stick to enjoy a stick or two, right? Did. Loved it. Crisp. And then 10 minutes later, went back for more. They're wet. We're indoors. We're the indoors. Windows, the closed. windows were closed. Air and conditioning. We had the air conditioner Chicago blasting. Pokes. It's not wet. It's not what we if want. You had a wet sesame stick? Don't recommend it. Yeah, so overall, did it make me miss Chicago? No, it made us realize no, that we went so back wet. too. It made me realize that we went back too soon. We went back in the wrong time, in the wrong era. I want to do. Here's my plan. I don't know. How to okay, do here's that. our plan for the future. I want to go through LA winter. Okay, I want to experience that for the first time ever, Sorry. not being cold at all during winter time. I would like to experience that just as like a human oh, being. See, I want. And I then want to go next to year. Winter. Well, no, I know, but then next year be like, we should do winter, and then going back to Chicago in winter time. And I'm talking. February winter. Like I'm talking like, please God, is this hell winter? Maybe though January. So it's like still kind of Christmassy and it's not fully snowing yet. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's not snowing yet in January. I like February because it really is, it does make you realize that like not, nothing's worth anything. And if you survive this, why? Remember being so mm. cold, like when you're not supposed to be outside for longer than 10 minutes oh, and you go yeah. inside and you pee and how warm it is from the pee. Remember that sensation? Like pee your pants? No, you're peeing in a urinal or whatever and it's warm. Yeah, I, I know that. 
It's not fun. But we loved it. We had a wonderful time in Chicago. Thank you, Circuit Mom and Circuit Son Thank for you, having Circuit us Mom back. And Circuit Son for having Transit us. Transit really Productions. It. We had the best fucking time. Transit with was the highlight. Also, Mechanical what? Bull Baby. We did it. We did. And we can't show you the footage now. It's gonna have to go through, you know, all of its the screening process. Iterations. And Iterations. And editing. I will say, I held the record. I held the record of longest on the bowl until Chan went right after me and then she beat me by yeah. like six seconds. Yeah, she but did do better. do you know what I realized? What? I stayed on the bowl 24.7 seconds. Okay. And earlier that day, I saw a TikTok about angel numbers. I was like, I wonder what my angel numbers are. And I Googled it said, how do you find your angel numbers? And then they said, Google said, you'll know. And then when I got off of the bowl and she wrote 24.7, I was like, 24.7, 24.7. Angel numbers. 24 7 is your angel. You know what I, I think? I think those are my angel numbers. First of all, I don't know what an angel number is. Secondly, when I hear 24 7, that makes me think of someone who's always on the go, always active. They're always go, go, go. That would not be how I would describe you. But if you but if you put it like she is in her bed ironic. scrolling TikTok 24 7. Oh, I do love an ironic angel. The footage of us on the bowl will come out. It's coming out. It. It's really fun. And it's really fun. I was definitely the worst, but it's just because I'm so thin. Okay. You also goaded the guy. I think he had it out for you. I had a okay, I had a really bad idea. Here's one thing you'll never It's ever a guy do. actually controlling it. Yeah, and, and here's one thing you shouldn't do when you're about to get on a mechanical bowl. I thought it'd be real cute because I'm in drag, so you know we're sassy as I'm getting on. I was like, hey, to the dude, I was like, hey, I'm gay, so if you throw me off this bowl, it's a hate crime. Do you know what he did? Threw you right off that bowl. <laughs> he did not laugh, first of all, so I knew I was in for it. And um, yeah, he threw me off pretty hard. It's reputable, it's fun, scary. I loved it. Fulfilling. I have a bruise. Oreo filling. Look, do you see this? Oh, I just thought that was like your skin. It's kind of getting better. It was a little purpley. Well, that's healthy. Yeah, so our spirit flight back to the beginning of the story did get canceled while no, we were no, no, at not the canceled. gate. canceled, delayed. Delayed, they were very hours. clear to say delayed. They said it over yeah. and over. I think it's because they didn't want to pay whatever they'd have to delayed pay. Delayed for 24 hours. 24 hours. We were boarding in like 30 minutes. Well, can we start with what happened before that? Got there super early and we beelined for the Chili's Chew because anytime we're at O'Hare, we have to go to the Chili's Chew. That's it's our the tradition. Only, it's the only beef I'll eat. Listen, I don't eat beef. I don't eat red meat, but I will have the Chili's cake. So we have to. It's my one thing. We have leave to. Leave me alone. I beelined to the first one and only gender neutral bathroom I saw in all of O'Hare. And it was a weird situation where there was like a woman standing in front of it. I come to realize her son was in there, but he couldn't figure out how to close the door. Whatever. So she was standing there and I'm waiting. They leave. I rush in there. And then I go out. I beeline to Chili's too. We eat. It's been like 40 minutes. And I realize I left my suitcase oh, by okay. the bathroom. Not in the bathroom. Outside yeah. of it. See something. See my something. rolling suitcase with mm -hmm. with all my wigs and all my dresses for the for the weekend. And so I go to one of the securities. I ask. They say no. Call this number. I call the number. They say ask security. And I'm like, this is just a circle. And I'm a walking line. around looking. Mm -hmm. I finally try another security. And the guy's like, oh, we have it. They had it. So I get my bag back. Thank God. We sit down. Boom. Flight delayed. And they don't tell anybody there's no announcement i just notice on my phone like oh we're not boarding in 30 oh. minutes so then she went up to talk to the gate agents and they literally went oh we don't know they go they go you just might want to go kind of talk to the front desk because if anything could they can do anything so we beeline for that thank well, god we got there first they before. said that because they literally kept saying yeah you may want to do that we don't know we, we don't know we, we just found and out and it wasn't just our flight it was three and flights. i think they found out through us because they seemed very confused <laughs> and then they just wandered away. And then they wandered I loved away. it. We were in a wonderful place. We were in an absolutely wonderful place because we were chill. And we got to be together. Well, so we went to a hotel in Elk Grove and we got to watch Overboard. And we, uh that was amazing. Golding Hunt. Such we a, got it's snacks, a problematic movie. But. We got wine. We had a good time. It was a beautiful, You know what, and night. I will say that, but besides the actual event, my favorite part was chilling in the hotel with you. Watching all our movies. Watching all the movies. You fart a lot in hotels. <laughs> like, a lot. Yeah, it's my farting you know what, time. You know what Alexis Bevels is gonna do? When she's in a hotel, <laughs> Alexis Bevels is gonna fart. I want everyone to know that. She's going to fart. <laughs> we have all the windows closed and it's still wet. And she said, you know what'll make this air better? 
little bit of a fart. Not even a little bit. Like there would be moments. Okay, I'm so sorry. There would be moments this where she would go. She go. She go in the bathroom and she'd be on the toilet and it would echo like it was so huge. But I'd hear it and it would be terrifying. I and I then I immediately it. hear her laugh. <laughs> so it would be. And then, I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want. So it. now, sometimes when mm. I hear farts, I hear her <laughs> wheeze right after. Oh, it's like a Pavlovian Pavlov's response, dog. exactly. Oh. My mouth does water. Oh, it? actually, we should say this since we're talking about the Chicago weekend before we get started. We met Nikki Doll. <gasps> she was really could not nice. have been nicer. She was so nice. She did. Kind there of, was a moment where I thought she was mad at us because she did play. She came she's in funny. She she's came goofy. in. She came in and and I go, "Hi, I'm Alexia." She goes, oh, I know who you are. Why did you do Celine Dion? Oh, they're the same. She, I was like, we oh. were like introducing ourselves, like we're IMHO, and she's like, oh, I know who you are. And we were like, ha ha ha. She had a really great sense of humor. I uh, let me say this. I okay, don't I'm think gonna say we it. We were nearly as mean to her as we were about Eureka O'Hara, who I was really scared to meet. Oh. We'll do, we're gonna talk about it in the Patreon. Yeah, she's very sweet. She's very kind. She's very nice. Anyway, but Nikki, she had a great sense of humor. Goofy, okay? We had different, we have different views of what Goofy is, okay? Like I am, I'm thinking Jerry Lewis. Like that is where my Goofy is. So when she but said French Goofy. People, French people love Jerry are Lewis. better than us. So when she said, I'm Goofy, I'm Goofy, ha ha ha, I'm Goofy. I was like, where, you have not slipped on a single banana peel since you walked in this workroom. What are you talking about? In person, I get it. She's yeah. silly. She didn't mean goofy. She's she silly meant and she knows her silly. stuff. And she's very smart. And we chatted with her about Drag Race France and I was like, hey, out of the two Drag Race contestants who are now hosting their own Drag Race, you're our favorite. And she, Celine Dion. Yeah. She was so sincere and was like, I'm so proud of France and I'm so proud of every queen. And she was, she was just, lovely. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. She was lovely. She was wonderful. Lovely. We, are, we were Silly. already supportive and now I'm a stan. Silly, I can say that. not goofy. Silly. In I person, can say that. in person, stunning. It's stunning. unfair. Stunning. Um, but speaking And we of, looked like this. Speaking of one of two drag race hosts, should we get into oh, Canada? Yeah, I guess we should go. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know we talked about it a lot in the last episode, but we have to revisit this again, and that is Jada Shada Hudson's oh my design God. Okay, challenge okay. look. I know. We should have just named the last episode Jada what? Because we talked about it so much. But if we go into this episode and don't mention, again, it just it took over on Twitter. She looked like a makeup brush. What happened? Listen, I think that this is what we're supposed to be looking like, but she's just there first. Oh my God, you're absolutely right. We've been doing it wrong. The future of drag. Is makeup brush. I Do you think wash it's your really makeup brushes? No, let's uh, not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't in a I haven't in a while. I saw a woman. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is how much people don't like to wash their makeup brushes. I saw a woman on TikTok. She's Wait, like, have you answer your question? No, I don't want to answer it. So <laughs> she she's like new makeup brush hack. I put them all in this bag and I put them in the washing machine and it works great. And I was like, you put your brushes in the actual like washing machine. I'm sure it destroys them, but. I'm ready to try it. I do want to make my way because I've been working on organization. I'm obsessed with the organization TikTok. Oh yeah, of course. And I have everything like nicely organized. So I, I need to do that for my brushes. But I haven't well, you yet. You don't have a washing machine, so you won't be able to do that. No. But did you see that t that video of Mayhem saying like, I, I love to cook, but I don't like to do dishes. So sh I just buy new th dishes every time. Like that can't Like be pots and stuff. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's Taylor Swift taking a private jet to go to Walgreens vibes. That's that's intense. Yeah. Taylor's version. Okay, the library was open. Did anybody stand out to you? Uh, no shade. No no library shade. But I did not expect that from Boo Boom. I really didn't. I did it either. I loved she it. She fucking killed me. She killed me. I was me. so impressed. I will say, I actually thought Fierce Delicious was kind of, she had a couple of zingers. I agree. But I am so, now realize, now this is just me and how I was feeling watching. Mm. Ultimately, we wish her well and she's young and I get it. But also, when you have that from the last episode, this, do you see the sour push she had on her? Yeah. When the elimination was and it's like, girl, 
Your dreams are coming reality. Be done with the high school shit. Okay, but to be fair, I thought she took the note really well because they had that little quick conversation and but she's, she's like, had and she said, I wasn't. No, time. I know, but she was, she was, there was a self reflection moment. I understand, but there's been some kind of moment like that every single episode and there's only been three episodes. Like, girl. I like TV though. It's good TV. I, I like want TV, you to, though. I, but I, but here's the thing she's already gorgeous and talented. Yeah, but her name's Fierce Delicious. She's gonna regret that name. Listen, I know she yeah. is. I think oh, she's so beautiful. That's I think the that's a horrible you have with drag her? name. Yes. I think her name is so fucked up. I think her attitude is worse than the name. And I want okay, the, I think on. the attitude will grow. Let me she's young. Compare. It will it will it will get better. She is so beautiful and talented. She doesn't need the attitude, is all I'm saying. She doesn't need it. It's hindering her. She can be a star. But not with that attitude. It's the name for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is. But ultimately, Boom Boom fucking wins. Lady Boom Boom earns her library card just in time for the Snatch Game. Earns her library card. Is that funny? Card. I wrote that down. Oh, that's so good. Um, Snatch Game. Yep. <laughs> Let's skip to the room and we'll talk about their Snatch Game yes, while we yes, do. Yes, 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 do. I agree. Let's talk about Brooklyn. She looks great. Fuck. That's one thing I'll never say. No, she always She's looks amazing. Always looks incredible. Her waist, her body always looks great. The dress was amazing. She does like an odd wig moment. She does like a wig that's but like almost there and she I does something really weird mad, with it. I don't no, really no, no, no. I it's like kind that of that's cool. I like that that's kind of her her It's her privilege. signature. Well, like she can still proportion wise with the her, her face. Like I need a bigger I could never do the kind right. of flat to the head that did she you does. See? Did you see was it Instagram or TikTok? There was an ad for like, it was a course for cosmetic people, surgeons and whatnot to learn how to do this particular cheek lift or cheek implant or something. And they used Brooklyn's before and after photos, like as a boy. No, but I want to see it. Like the Vivian's hair. Oh, her thing, hair. Like that ad. There I would was, get that. There was no second. like Brooklyn Heights. It was just look at how like gross her cheek was before. And this is now it's better. Come on doctors, let's learn. Not it's weird. so fun. Yeah. I love how she got paid for that. Or maybe got free services. Oh, that would be nice. The prompt for today's runway is periodic table of elements. The first time I saw the periodic table, <laughs> the first, the first time I saw the periodic, I always, every time they brought it out, I thought it was in a different language. I didn't understand it. It blew my fucking mind. I liked that it was colors and I liked yeah. that it was squares because I that's fun. Copper. AU is gold or whatever. Mm-hmm. Salt is... Oh, are you gold? Is that your element? What are you? What's your element? Oh, no. My el Thank you so much for asking. My element is one of those at the bottom. You know, I like to have the table. Oh, and, and then like, like the extra. The little like extras. It's like orchestra and then ba the first balcony. The table would be the audience because the audience has to be bigger than what's on stage. So the lower part would be the stage. So you're in the audience. Well, I was thinking the stage is above it and then the seats mm -hmm. are the table and then that Ooh. strip is like the, the obstructed view. Or the parking lot. Yeah. Do you know where my depression took me this week? I'll tell you. Oh, please. Now it's time for <laughs> depression adventure. Sad. <laughs> That's nice. Decided to get out of the house, right? On Sunday, I was like, I gotta get out. I'm in this slump. I need to get out into the sunshine, into the beauty, into the grace of the world. So I decided mm -hmm. to go to Home Goods because on TikTok, someone was talking about this bowl that if you find at Home Goods, it's like $20 at Home Goods, but you can sell it on Mercury for like $100. And I was like, do you well, do let me flipping? Go. No, but I love browsing so I was like oh, yeah I'm yeah. kind of depressed I'll go find that bowl there's a home goods in my neighborhood yeah so I went to home goods got to home goods immediately regretted it because I suddenly realized it's Sunday it's Sunday and <sighs> listen I'm not anti-woman okay I promise you I support your lifestyle mm -hmm. I just the white women of home goods they're terrifying they're extreme not to generalize but they're all insane I wasn't in there for very long I couldn't do it I left and I was like oh I'm gonna take a left out of here I've never gone down this way of the road before let me just drive and see if there's any snacks or something. And then a couple lights later, I see a sign that says, Universal, take a left. And I was like, okay. So I turn into Universal, which is just like a giant parking garage. And I was like, 
I guess I'm going to Universal. So I, in my depressed state, I pay $30 for parking. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I, like, I get up to the front and the guy's like, are you doing the park? Are you doing the city walk? Are you doing something else? And I was like, oh, well, I'm not buying a ticket. So I go to city walk, an outdoor mall. I ate Taco Bell. And that sounds so fun though. That's where my depression took me. See, I don't think that's depression though. I think it's adventure. I also saw The Wizard of Oz. I saw all four characters made out of jelly bellies. Is that fun? Isn't that? So I left feeling odd. It's fun to get out though. We have to go to that movie theater. It's I want to go next time. Theater. Will you take me? It depends on how depressed I am. Okay, the first element is Miss Sphere Salicious and she is ne- Can I take that back? Why? I said it weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first- Element is Miss Fierce Delicious. I think that was weird. No, I know. The first element is Miss Fierce Delicious, and she is neon. And this is by this is by Eve Six Thousand. Eve Six Thousand. Is Design. it really? Design. Yes. I saw that Eve Six Thousand was asking if she does a U.S. tour where she should go, and then someone said Darby's apartment. I was Do gonna I type. I, I was, was like, gonna type our apartment. Come on, baby. You Come here, place. Eve. Open invitation. Open invitation. Super cute. Yeah, it looks great. There's nothing wrong with her aesthetics except for when she designs her own stuff. Yeah. She's beautiful. I would have loved for Neon, though. I would have loved, listen. A sign. <gasps> yes. A cap, the cowboy boot from Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Like the cowboy? With the boot? Yeah. Like if she had come out as the Neon cowboy boot guy. Would that have been so I'm kicking, fun? you can't see it. But her, her snatch game was... No, I don't think we need... Kourtney Kardashian. Oh. oh yeah, Kourtney Kardashian. She looked like Kourtney Kardashian. That's nice. Yeah, I didn't laugh. I don't think. No, I don't get. I don't get fun. Kardashians don't make me laugh. That's not. I her. bet if I watched it's it though, they would choice. make me laugh. I think they are can be funny, but in that kind of way that rich people are funny. Oh, I know. I get that all the time. People are like, "Are you rich? You're so funny." <laughs> Kimmy Couture is calcium. I thought that was a clever choice bones. to do bones. I thought cool. It's something similar we've seen before from her, but I like it. I felt it was something that we've seen on the runway. A lot. The whole yeah. like bones, bones situation. People have bones on the runway all the time. Like literally every person on that runway has bones. So that was a little overdone. But did this um, bone but give us a boner? The answer is no. No, I mean, half chub, there's a little calcium in my dick. Her snatch game was Ariana Grande. She ch she went out against Fierce on Ariana Grande. And what did you think? No, it wasn't funny, but she looked great. Stop picking pop stars. It's hard when, because she, she is funny, I think, in real life, but it's not like, that's why snatch game is so hard. You can't you just need a character. translate. You need like Celine Dion would be a funny pop star because she's insane. Yeah. Ariana Grande is just a normal girl who got dicked down by Pete Davidson for too long. On to the next. <laughs> my phone got stuck in my toes. Okay, Vivian Vanderpuss. <laughs> Did you say your phone got stuck in your toes? <laughs> my little strap got stuck in my toes and I wouldn't come out. Why are your toes out? <laughs> Vivian Vanderpuss. Arsnig and old lace front. I like it. I like it. She did She's her cute. take. It's definitely Vivian. Well, it's really real. Did you remember? Did you know that a lot of uh -huh. green? They would use arsenic to paint bright green items. Anytime anything was green or like the flowers in hats, because hats were big back then. Yeah. So they would paint the well, flowers and leaves green and it would just like fucking poison their brains. And then wallpaper too. Arsenic in the wallpaper, green wallpaper. I like this. I, Vivian Van I like it. And I like that her face is falling off. She did Tammy Faye Mesner. I thought. I thought she did good. She killed it. Yeah. She made she was, me guffaw. She was more like closer to the source material than actually making jokes for me. But it worked. It Tammy worked. Tammy Faye's funny. Yeah. And, well, and she was quick. There were moments where RuPaul asked her things that she immediately went Who back to Christian. Who asked her things? Is RuPaul not on this? No. <laughs> Oh man. You have this green screen is made of arsenic and it's a oh, no. <laughs> Lady Boom Boom is bromine. And she had the cool tubies. Tubes. Like oh, yeah, the and stuff the liquid, through. And the liquid. I really liked this a lot. This was cool. I love a and I love a liquid. Just a little bye? Wait. Oh wait, wait. Lady Boom Boom was um very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mado Lamont. She's a famous drag queen in Canada. Okay. Looked great. Didn't didn't have a lot of jokes. Didn't feel great. And for her to have a lot of jokes in the library, so much so that she got her library card, as you said, to then go to this challenge and have no jokes. Suspicious. Let's move on to Giselle Lullaby. Giselle Lullaby is Cesium. And she really seized this opportunity with all this metal work. Cool. Pretty. Yeah, I th it's a big look. I was not drawn to it. Okay, like whatever the opposite periodic table element. Polar polar opposite. Yeah, I was on the other side Mac of the table. Battery. But I recognized that it was it was really well done. Now um, she what I liked about her this Celine episode. Dion, Celine Dion. No. What I liked about her this episode was oh. that she decided I'm not just gonna do periodic table on the runway. <gasps> I'm also gonna do it in the snatch. Game. I didn't even and think she about did Marie that. Curie. I didn't even think about that. That's yeah. so clever. Now the death of Marie Curie because she was she didn't know about radiation and so she would like suck on radios. Titties. <laughs> yeah, she suck on titties. In green in a green arsenic bra. In an arsenic bra. <laughs> so sad, but so funny. She had levels. You know, like at first she was just yeah. glowing. She lost an eyebrow. She lost her hair. Yeah. And also, Giselle seemed just as tickled by it as else. <laughs> yeah. And that's fun to watch. And she was making, it's always funny to see a girl making the other girls laugh. She made me laugh. I really She really liked made it. me laugh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Jada Shada Hudson is sodium. She looks really pretty. I loved this look on her. I, yeah. I love a structured, I love an uh, uh, exaggerated yet. And the crystallized. Taking an element. Crystals. Salt crystals. Okay. Did you like that candy, rock candy? Do you remember those? Oh, I loved it. The but it's never really good. No, no, no. It's Cracker not, barrel. But you get, yeah, and you, but you get a wooden stick at the end. She, oh, was, yeah, saucy she was saucy Santana. Santana. And she looked great. She looked great. And she was being saucy Santana. There wasn't a lot of jokes there, but I enjoyed her. I thought she was really safe. I thought she was very safe. Yeah. Thank and I love saucy well, Santana. Well, it's also one of those things too, like with her and with Boom Boom, I think. We don't know what Marie Curie like to say when her eyebrows were falling off. We don't know her that <laughs> while well. While she was sucking titties. So she, while she was sucking those titties, arsenic bra, she could make it up. Giselle was able to like run with it a little more. Yeah. And I, I get why someone that you know well, that you're very familiar with, that is currently with us and putting out content, I get where you may not want to veer off of who they actually are. Yeah. But I think it would benefit, it would have benefited her a little more. Her, yeah. But she looked but ultimately, really great. Yeah, and I thought she was pretty I think safe. she did a good job. She was a good she supporting was character for that yeah. Snatch Game. I, I think she was good, yeah. yeah. Ermagerd, uranium. Ermagerd. Ermagerd. I think this is a cool runway. It's very kitschy and fun, and she's got the like birthday cake. Yes, I liked it a lot. I did have a moment where I was like, Irma and Vivian are, they're the same girl. I mean, it's like almost exactly. They're slightly type. different fonts, it. but like, they're the same. 100%. Yeah. 100% basketball. What Root Roman and Times mm -hmm. New Roman. Mm -hmm. Who does she play as Snatch? Marilyn Monroe. She was Marilyn Monroe. Okay. I now we that, have, yeah. Oh, your voice went really high up. I thought she was funny. Yeah, I thought she was funny. What are you, what are you saying? I think the vocal, I think Marilyn Monroe has Ooh. such a specific, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> Hang on. Wait, give me a line. I'll do it. Marilyn, did you hear that Marie Curie used to like to suck on titties? Ooh. Well, I've got a couple titties she could put in her disgusting mouth. <laughs> oh, she has no teeth anymore. <laughs> like that? Yeah, okay. yeah, hey, yeah. You do, yeah. Not, you do, I'll ask you okay, a question. Okay. Hey, Marilyn. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was That's, Ariana. That was Ariana Grande for sure. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that Ariana Grande licked a muffin and then put it back? Oh, did she? You know, I licked a muffin once. <laughs> <laughs> it was... <laughs> you have to clue us in so we can have fun too. It was in June. <laughs> oh, wow. How did I'm it sorry. hurt? Finish your joke. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be back in this with say you. Say it. I can't. Hold on. I need a minute. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we have to move on. We have to move on. I don't want to hear that.
Bombay. Oh my god, I loved this. Okay, Bombay was helium, right? Helium yeah, because those were this was balloons. balloons baby. One of the coolest things we've ever seen on a runway. Yeah, I thought it was so well done too. And she turned around to this tiny little baby. Oh yeah, I tried to get a picture. Butt. I love a tiny little butt. I I loved have a tiny her. Butt. It's long. Her Aziz Ansari was okay. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. It was okay. It was good. It was, it was, she was safe and that was good. Well, she was bottom three and then she ended up being safe. I don't know that I, I don't know that she needed to with. be yeah. bottom three. But the look was The look was incredible. Phenomenal. I did lick a muffin once too. It was inside Joe DiMaggio's asshole. So you went kind of into <laughs> Zoolander. I did, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you know, asshole. you know, she was up for that part. For Zoolander? Yeah. She had been dead for like 30 years. Well, about. was she? So, we judges talk all of that. Judges talk. We do a winner. It's Giselle Lullaby. I Which, think well deserved. Well deserved. I think well deserved. Her. That was very funny. Yeah, the very, Marie very Curie. funny. Marie Curie, and it's her second win in a row. That's amazing. Good, Good for, for her. her. Good for her. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds very demeaning. Like, good for her. It's, it's a bless your heart vibe. Yeah. No. Uh, Don't do that. That was awful. I can't believe you did let's that. Let's take it back. Let's okay. say it. Congratulations. Well deserved. She's really killing it. Yeah, she really is. I didn't, I, she's kind of just a sneaker. Like, a just like the el those elements killed Marie. <laughs> what was it? Uranium? What did she study? Passamaquoddy. What's the one that killed that girlfriend of, of JFK or whatever? Scassamaquoddy. Chappaquiddick. <laughs> Well, she drowned. In uranium. <laughs> yeah. So our bottom, our yes, bottoms oh are Kimmy God. Couture and Lady and Boom, Boom Boom. Now, I would be really freaking scared to go up against Kimmy Couture because she's proven herself to be an amazing dancer. And Boom Boom, she's got liquid everywhere, though. She's, she couldn't see. That's she's the thing. Up. Kimmy could take off all her stuff. If and she had done that, she would just be leaking I everywhere. I think Boomy and was not. I think that's, Boom that's Boom was hazard. not allowed to. She would have shoot liquid everywhere. Queens, if you're if that you're been newer cool. to performance, if you're ever gonna squirt things, for instance, porcelain squirting enema water out of her butt on stage, you do need to let people know ahead of time, just so they can put down a tarp. You know what? Now that we're dealing with COVID and monkeypox. I say, I'm glad I got to see that. Because if we didn't have that, what would we talk about? Well, I have different experiences with enema water, and I, I could pull a couple stories out of my ass, much like the water. Ah! Kimmy, of course, wins. Kimmy Although, wins. I didn't hate Boom Booms. I just, she was restricted by the liquid. I think it was bad luck costume-wise. Yeah. We say goodbye to Boom Boom. So, so sad. I love. Her. I'm really, really, really sad to see I her. I think we need more of her. Which I think immediately. She, we need her on an All Stars something. She'll be around. She'll be around. She'll do All Stars friends. I'm loving sort of. that they're kind of letting other franchise girls get in with each other for All Stars. Yeah, I think. I it's think a that's thing. cool. It's a beautiful thing. You know, we really have to. Oh, we're one world, okay? And we we're all one love, one heart. Okay, so C that was Korean that was episode five, I think, of Drag Race Canada's Canada's Time, and it's and we're dragging. So if you would like to join us for another episode, because I promise you this series is not over; <laughs> it's going to continue on and on. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and of course the bell notification, so you never miss a new episode. Absolutely. If you'd like to see all the behind the T, behind the screen, go to IMHO the show. Wait. Go to patreon.com slash IMHO the show and you can get see this stuff there. Yeah, thank you for that. That was very clear. We're also both on Cameo, so we can send a little message to your parents about, you know, your gay stuff. Yeah, and if you want a video message from the both of us, you can go to IMHOtheshow.com and get a shamio. Yeah, we'll talk directly to your parents again. Or if you don't have parents, we can talk to the orphanage and we let can them be know your that parents. We can be your parents virtually. I don't know. Absentee parents. I don't have a license, so I yeah. can't drive you to yeah. the soccer practice. To the all the games. All right, well we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Elements of drag. Go. Elements of drag. Hair. Nails. Tits. Talking type. Did you see that one of the cock destroyers, Sophia, her tit burst? And now yeah. she doesn't, she didn't get it fixed yet. So she's making videos with one tit. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah, I, I wish her All the best. All bodies are beautiful, all bodies are women. <laughs> Remember that.
Yeah. Let's let's not forget. No, let's never forget. Where did that come from? Chicago. I said that. In Chicago. I think. Did we go somewhere, Amy, S and Curtis? Did we go somewhere and I said that? I don't remember, but she's like, all bodies are beautiful. All <laughs> I don't know why I said it, but, but it I struck think a chord. I, I think it's smart, okay? All bodies are beautiful, all bodies are women. Yeah. And let's just stay the course there. Also, just wanted to quickly touch base. You had mentioned it, hang on. You just uh. touched my knee. Ugh. Oh my God. Bless you. I bet God that bless entire you. room, <laughs> side of the room is wet. You mentioned the, in the airport in the gender neutral bathroom and you had an issue there. Go piss anywhere you want, girl. No, Go I know, I know, but. Piss all over those women. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woman. I piss on you. No, no, no. I know, but Actually, it's still I early think that days and do. I feel weird. Also, uh, No, it's line, whatever you're comfortable also, with. Also, lines, lines are not something I'm used to. Unless it's. Coke. <laughs> so you can't say that publicly. Diet Coke. You know, it's early days and I'm very sensitive about like everything. Presentation still. So I like everything. Well, I'm very sensitive about everything. I saw everything. your tits. Yeah, I didn't mean for you to. They're very perky. Thank you for saying that. I don't even know that they're tits yet. I think they're, they're just straight my out. fat. That's what boobs are. You really don't know what boobs are made of? It's fat. It's no. <laughs> You think there's just two percent milk hanging out at all times? Well, mine would be boob. soy. Cause they're soy beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say you do not eat clean enough for your body to make soy milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough. 